let's talk about the fundamentals fundamentals for business success. Really, there's three pieces. Uh, and I love these three pieces. There's the message, the market, and the media. And I'm going to break each one of these down. And each piece of this will help you build a foundation for the success that you need for these numbers that you're trying to hit. Uh, Oliver, goal is seven and a half million, need 480 leads per month, which is about 600 uh, that he needs to talk to you. Thank you. That's fantastic. Love that. All right. Let's uh, let's press on. Good job. Um, all right. Oop, going too fast here. All right. So let's break this into parts. First, let's talk about the market or who it is that you're trying to target and who you need to target to get to these numbers. First thing is you need to know who your ideal customer is. And it's funny for the first couple of years I did this, I talked about knowing who your avatar was or your target market. And I didn't do it. I, you know, you talk about it, but you don't necessarily do it. And when I finally decided I need to go through this process and find out who these people are, my business skyrocketed, quite honestly, uh, because what you can do is you can start to get really specific and get to know exactly who your buyers are and who these people are, what they do, what are their, your, their different pain points, that kind of stuff. And we'll talk about that in a minute. So in your worksheet, uh, in your workbook, a little bit further down, uh, there's some information, all kinds of information about different ways to segment out a customer avatar, uh, also called a persona. Uh, and then there should be a, uh, a build your avatar page sim similar to this. So these are the kind of things that uh, you really need to start, you need to sit down and really start thinking about it. And if you have a lot of customers, then you'll probably have a pretty good idea uh, of, of how these customers are all similar and what they're trying to accomplish, that kind of stuff. So demographics could be um, typically female. They're typically married. They make this much. Uh, they're very reliable people. Uh, you know, they're occasionally male maybe, but you can start to really build on who is the average person that is coming to uh, us for business. Uh, pains and frustrations. This is a big one. Uh, my widget isn't working. My blinds won't show, close. Uh, there's too much sun coming in. There's lots of different reasons uh, why they, they might want to, uh, to call you. You know, maybe it's just the holidays and they need some new cornices or something like that. Uh, or, they, or they want some awnings to kind of block some of the sun outside. They, there are reasons that they're, they're the things that they're struggling with uh, that you can fix. Uh, and there's another one that's on here, um, worried about their kids' health, uh, blinds with cords, those kind of things could be a reason for somebody to pick up the phone and call you as well. Fears and implications. Uh, what kind of things are they thinking about if they don't resolve this issue? Uh, and also if they call the wrong company, right? Or they don't get the right work done or the work is done faulty. You know, that's, those, these are things that they worry about. Um, the, uh, the installer doesn't show up on time, uh, doesn't take his shoes off, or, you know, might mess up the carpet. You know, there's lots of reasons. Uh, not having parts, not uh, showing up on time. I think I mentioned that already. Being overcharged. You know, that's, that's definitely uh, something that people think about as well. Goals and desires is kind of the opposite. Uh, what kind of things are they are they hoping to resolve? Obviously, you know, getting the blinds fixed, something like that. Uh, taking care of family, um, maybe it's somebody that works nights and wants to sleep during the day and they need some sort of darkening, right? These are the things they, I just want to sleep better. You know, uh, obviously successful kids, they want to travel more, things like that. Um, maybe don't make as much sense, but definitely um, something we're thinking about. Maybe around motorization, uh, it's a big thing right now with uh, looking like somebody's home when they're not, you know, lots of different reasons, right? Here's the thing. If you can see Joe Smith through Joe Smith's eyes, then you'll know how to sell what Joe Smith buys. Isn't that cute? Uh, but ultimately very, very true. So that is kind of understanding your market. And I know I, I went through it a little bit quickly, but it's definitely a good exercise to do 
in your workbook and, and make sure you start thinking about who that person is. And like I said, if you've done a decent amount of business, you probably have a pretty good idea of who that, uh, that key customer is and what they look like uh, as far as on paper and the same kind of thing. So I'm gonna grab a drink here.